House security breach, a man jumps over a fence to pay a visit to Donald Trump. Deadly attack, dozens of Iraqi pilgrims killed in the Syrian capital will go live to Iraq. And a colossal discovery, a statue of Ramses II uncovered in a Cairo slum. Hello, I'm Linda Kincaid. Welcome to CNN Newsroom. With a security breach at the White House, a man with a backpack tried to visit Donald Trump on Friday night after climbing a fence. President Trump was in the White House at the time. Let's go straight to Ryan Nobles in Washington for more on this. Uh, Ryan, I understand you've managed to get a copy of the arrest report. What are you finding? Well, the arrest report is pretty remarkable, Linda. It tells the story of a man who actually uh, gained access to the White House grounds by the Treasury Department, which is in the background here behind me, which is a building removed from the White House, scaled mo likely multiple fences, and made his way all the way to the South Portico entrance of the White House, which is a well-known entrance. It's the spot where the president exits, exits and enters the White House when he is uh, leaving on a trip to, to board the Marine One helicopter. Uh, he was likely only 200 feet away from from the president's bedroom window and he had a backpack with him now that backpack was later determined to not have any hazardous materials inside it and the man when he was uh, finally apprehended by secret service who according to the police report basically just bumped into him on the south lawn of the white house uh, said that he had an appointment with president trump and that he was a friend of his now, that's likely not the case given the fact that it was 11 30 on a friday night and uh, he had to jump a fence in order to get onto the white house grounds uh, the man uh, whose identity we do not have yet as of yet was taken into police custody but we are told by secret service that he doesn't have a police record of any kind and he has no prior interaction with secret service still this will likely lead to a thorough review of white house security as this is one of the biggest breaches that we've seen here in washington in quite some time linda and talking about uh previous breaches this isn't the first there's been quite a few in recent years yeah, there is. Uh, in fact, uh, the most famous one happened right here behind me when uh, a man jumped the uh, north uh, lawn's fence uh, and went all the way past the, the north lawn and actually gained access into the White House through the north portico. That happened back in uh, 2014 before he was finally apprehended. But there have been a series of uh, offense jumpers over the past couple of years, including someone uh, that jumped over the fence back in November of 2015 while the first family was having Thanksgiving dinner. That was uh, the Obama family at the time. This is the first incident that we've seen uh, since President Trump has been in office. And it's also interesting to point out that the president has been spending most of his weekends at uh, his southern uh, South Florida estate, Mar-a-Lago, and he happened to be here in Washington this weekend. And Ryan, just looking at some of the other issues around, uh, it is one week now since President Trump made that very serious accusation against former President Barack Obama that he wiretapped Trump Tower, but he still hasn't presented any evidence. No, not one shred of evidence, uh, in fact. Uh, and when asked about it in his uh, press briefings, uh, Sean Spicer uh, doesn't have any uh, real clarification as to what the president meant uh, when he uh, tweeted those things out. Uh, it was a week ago uh, Saturday. Um, and in a couple of instances where the president has appeared in front of cameras, uh, he's been asked directly by reporters to provide that evidence, and he's basically just ignored them. Uh, so, yeah, we're still uh, trying to find out exactly what the president meant by that. There are members of Congress who are actively searching uh, for that evidence, and at this point, uh, it remains to be seen. All right, Ryan Nobles will have to leave it there. Thanks for staying across the door for us. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Linda.